I've never seen an eight ball jacket on someone in years, let alone in, like they're not everywhere. Yes. I think it's you know, um, it's either a retro thing or an ironic thing. Like I would wear one very ironically and be like, look, I'm a dope, I'm wearing an eight ball. I'm willing to wear a Mannix fucking uh, sports jacket. So I'll wear ironic things, uh, moronic things, but I, I'm I'd not gonna it. just go out in an eight ball jacket to be like, no, what? what are you talking about? It's an eight ball jacket, fucking asshole. Yeah, it's mine. Unless you get your ass no, I. I would wear it. I mean, I would wear it. Yes, I would wear it to an ass eating. I, an ass I definitely eating would wear it beating. there. Yeah, whatever. When he, it shouldn't be surprised surprised that a man wearing an eight ball jacket is hurting his kids. Is hurting I would his just children. Assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with a belt to hit your kids with. <laughs> with an eight ball buckle. <laughs> yeah. So just, you can leave that eight embedded in them. Like, I, uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, your the, like that movie, like that movie, the, the water world on land, the postman. Hits him hard enough. Oh God. The postman, <laughs> the postman <laughs> is dry water world and yes, water is. world is, is wet. The postman. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same movie. It is. <laughs> Except one water has value and the other one's sand does. Yeah. Yeah. It's dirt. <laughs> And it's dry and people want water. And then the other one, it's wet and, and people want dry. They want dry. <laughs> it's the, the same movie. Kevin Dennis Costner Hopper. was in the same exact movie. One dry, one wet. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I believe The Postman was his movie. So was Waterworld. Yeah, so there you go. So yeah, yeah he's like, I got two of these scripts. He must have written it twice and was like, I the could one's do it. wet, one's dry. He's probably like, I could look, look, as he's pitching it to the studio, he's probably like, look, I can do it on water, in water, I could do it on land. And then they're like, why not both, Kevin? And he goes, motherfucker, why not both? And there we go. We got two shitty movies that somehow you just watch when they're on. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> the are why. pretty enjoyable for being terrible. <laughs> They're terrible movies, but they are enjoyable. And they're long enough where you don't have to worry in a few minutes that you got to find something else to watch. I like no. putting something on that's going to last for days. That way, you're just like, ah, I don't care. I can do whatever. I'm on my phone anyway. I look up. Oh, look, they're at that part. I like Kevin Costner, but there's not a movie he's made where you're like, that's a flawless film. There's not yeah. one. Think about yeah. it. No, you no, might no. say... What about Field of Dreams? It does not hold up. It's a rough yeah. watch. People say that like like uh, guys that think they're manly um, and but want to seem sensitive say that they cry at that movie. I call no. them faggots. Yes, I do. <laughs> the, <laughs> uh, For, yeah, but that movie isn't really doesn't really hold up, right? No, For Love of the Game is all right. Bull yeah. Durham's a good movie, but it's what still about not Dances flawless. with Wolves? That is it a won shit an Academy film. Award over fucking <laughs> Goodfellas. I think. It's a fucking overrated piece of shit, in my opinion. It's a long. It's him in front of a fire for three Again, hours. A long movie. Him fucking yeah, rambling with the, an Indian guy for a while. Yeah, it's just too long. Yeah, it's there just wait. Go no, go ahead. There were there were. Uh, all right, there was, there was a movie years ago with Dustin Hoffman called Little Big Man. And it was one of these epic mm -hmm. Westerns. And it was fucking hours long. I don't know how people ever watched movies like this in the theater, especially back when that movie came out, because you weren't getting the fucking nice lean back seats. Yeah, that's Dustin Hoffman in old man makeup. And, and it's the story of this guy's life, this old guy. He gets captured by the Indians and turned into an Indian. And, and, and it's his whole life. Is in, and then he gets captured or, or recaptured by the white man. And he becomes a white man. And then that's the guy from Soap as General Custer. And he's awesome. He, oh, how the fuck did bloated <laughs> Gino get in there? And, and it's fucking, it's really a good movie. It's very long. Oh, my God. It's so fucking long. But it's one of those epic things. It has a story. It, uh you're it's compelling you know and and well yeah. dances with wolves is just a bore fest yeah well like the good bad and the ugly is a very long movie but it's yeah. a fantastic movie 
I mean, yep. you, I think you have to be from certain generations to even watch a long movie for some reason. You just yeah. don't appreciate them, you know, but that, uh, but dances with wolves. I came from the generation that wanted to watch that movie and people blow their load over Prince of thieves. And again, it's not a good movie. Yeah. I stand yeah. by it. It's just not like the untouchables. It's all right. It's, it's a little right. overrated. It's an all a lot right of his movie. movies are overrated, right? Yes. Overrated. Was it? What about uh, Tin Cup? That's a, okay. That is a very good movie. But I like still... Tin Cup a lot. Yeah. yeah, I do like Tin Cup. You may have found <laughs> an anomaly yeah, in the. I might. In the I might need my words. Tin Cup is really good, <laughs> but you know, I don't know how well it holds up. Again, I haven't seen it in years. It might be uh, yeah. terrible. Who knows? Yeah, I might watch it and go, wow, I can't believe I liked this. But the last um, time I saw it, I, it was a very, very good movie. Imagine if you watched it again and in the middle of one of the fairways, they're all just uh, dancing to Wang Chung. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, this doesn't hold up. It's a little dated. This is, it's, uh, yeah, I don't like this I, at I all. don't remember this part in the 80s. It seemed, I think it's an 80s Ch movie anyway. No, 90s. Cheech Marin uh, is in oh, it. Is He's it? just making Mexican jokes. Cheech. Yeah, that's what Cheech's job is. Yeah, Cheech, uh, it might be. Yeah. Cheech is, uh, I don't know. I think if you're Mexican, you look at Cheech and just go, boy, you might. He's like one of those black guys that just go, Lordy Lord, you know? He's that for, yeah. what Mexi for Mexican people. He just sold, oh, yeah. sold out his Mexicanism for, to the white man, and he'll, uh, he'll do step and fetch it uh, for a few bucks. Yeah, they well, they probably hate Chong too because they don't realize that he's not supposed to be Mexican. I mean, I realize his last name's Chong, but everybody just thinks he's Mexican. He's there's two Mexicans. They're just going around East LA a, yeah. in a '57 Chevy smoking weed. So smoking you assume a he's a Mexican. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just assume he's a fucking Mexican. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. I watched a movie with Kevin Costner called Let Him Go the other day. Is that a new and one? It's a new one. It just came out. I'm like, all right, it's it's Kevin Costner in Montana. I, I can watch this. It's Oh, big, I saw that. Know, I was scro I scrolled right past it the other night. I saw yeah, his old face. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, it's not uh it's not like the worst movie by any stretch, but it's not good. It's way too long. There's scenes Again. like this that just sit where you're oh. like, all right, this is, they just sit. And then there, yeah, she's, this is the 1950s. Their kid dies. So then it goes to 1963, right? At, uh, and the grandson she sees get hit on the street. Like that was that something Diane rare Lane? and crazy. Yes, it is. Diane Lane. Okay. Yeah, so she remarries this guy who's abusive to their grandson. So they drive out to find him. Does he have an eight ball jacket? He has an eight ball jacket. And they go okay. out to find him, and he's getting his ass eaten by this fella with the broom. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, too, he's just some kid who lives out in the middle of Montana who's like, I ain't here to bother nobody. I just want to make my beaver pelts and sell them, on, sell them in the city. And then, <laughs> and then they're like... Uh, you know, calm down. You can hang out with us. He's like, okay, I can tell you where the bodies are buried. Like, it's like, wow, that's a jump. Oh, okay. Um, is he yeah, retarded? Then, kinda, but I mean, he's, he's just native and illiterate and kind of dumb. Yeah. 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 And then they go to meet this kid's, this guy's family. And it's like the Texas chainsaw massacre for some reason. Like the, the mom's like a mafia Don. And the kids who are all like just complete fucking idiots, like mongoloids. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Just... Like the hills have eyes, kind of. <laughs> right, but meets a mob family where for some reason the the matri uh, whatever you call it, matriarch. Matriarch, yeah. Yeah, the matriarch is essentially like a mobster. <clears throat> oh okay. So it's pretty awful, by the way. I've just explained it. It and in the trailer you... they show yeah. it to you. You explained it very well to make it sound as awful as it is. Uh, yes. Thank you. Because I, I scrolled past it. I'm like, because the name got me. I'm like, oh, Kevin Costner. Uh, yeah, I'll keep they, going. 
They just showed the whole movie and his fingers in the trailer. Cut off. So what does it matter to watch it? They wreck <laughs> movies constantly. They just in- showed the end of the movie. They just showed the house on fire. They showed uh, his fingers cut off. Well, now you know what happens because the, the trailer showed it. They do it all the fucking time. Kevin Costner. Yeah. What, what, what about that movie um, Clint Eastwood did with him with the little kid? What was that? Oh, called? Uh, a perfect world. A perfect world was pretty good. It does not hold up. I, I, it I doesn't. It. It's not. It's not bad, but it's not yeah. great. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah it doesn't. It nah, I saw it in the theater years ago with my dad. I think it came out in 1990. But uh, yeah, it's an old movie. Yeah, it doesn't oh, okay. hold up. It's PG 13, and it's about a criminal. In I don't know. It's, it misses. He kind of gets attached to the kid, like uh, the Lincoln Project. Yeah, or getting even with dad. Yeah. With Ted Danson and Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> or Freaky Friday. Yeah. Getting even with dad where they sing Twist and Shout in the trailer. Ooh. Yeah. What dude, was that other funny. one with uh, Hamilton from Fast Times and he switches with um, fucking what's his name? Fred um, Savage. Fred Savage. That's vice versa. It's my favorite of the Switch movies, actually. There are more because than one the, Switch movies? Yeah, believe it or not. I never knew. I, <laughs> did you did you hear Louis C.K.'s bit on that? No. Oh, shit. It was fucking great. Did, in his, he talks about in his last special how he wants to write a script where they switch bodies. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah, the dad comes home and is just fucking the mom, who's actually the daughter. And then the end of the movie, they don't switch back. Yeah. <laughs> uh it's but terrible. Yeah, the, he jerked <laughs> off in front of girls and he can't hear his comedy anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a shame that girls told him yes and then 20 years later yeah, told him yeah. no. 